hello welcome to my kitchen once again so today we are making beef fish and butternut squash light soup yes that's a mouthful right <laughs> anyways i'm excited about this recipe because this is the first time ever that i'm using butternut squash for my light soup so without wasting much time let's get straight to the cooking Okay guys, so this is a one pot recipe, okay? So this is the most important part of the recipe, okay? If you get this part wrong, then your soup wouldn't taste good. So I'm going to cook my beef with this ginger, onion, and garlic. Usually I add anise seeds, but I don't have some at the moment. But then ginger, garlic, onion, it's fine. So here I'm going to add my blended spices, the natural spices, and I'm going to add some chopped onions. This is very important because it adds flavor to the meat. So here I'm going to add my spices. You can use any spices of your choice. I added my salt to my spices directly. You have to make sure you put the right amount of salt and spices at this point. You have to make sure that your meat is well seasoned because remember you're going to add a lot of water. So if your meat is not well seasoned, after your soup you wouldn't taste the niceness of the meat. I hope you get my point. <laughs> So guys, I didn't add water to it, if you notice, so I just allowed the meat to boil in its own juice, okay? That way, the meat will be well seasoned. And like I said, this is a one-pot soup, so I'm going to add my tomatoes and everything here. That's why after the meat is well, a bit cooked, I'm adding water so that it will be able to cook the tomatoes and the other things. But if you are not making a one-pot soup, you can boil your onions, tomatoes, and the other vegetables in a different pot, yeah so now it is ready i'm going to add my tomato puree some people do not add it it's optional if you like you can add it so after it had boiled i'm adding my tomato puree and i'm going to add all my vegetables okay so yeah i'm going in first with my onion my butternut squash guys this is my first time ever and i really love it you can use pawpaw on ripe pawpaw you can also use garden eggs you can if I, I think you can even carrots. Yeah, I use carrots most times, but today I decided to use butternut squash. Then you add your chili peppers, any pepper at all. You can use habanero pepper or anything. So I'm going to cover it and leave it to boil. So my vegetables are ready now to be blended. I'm taking out my butternut squash, my pepper, my tomatoes. The onions are not yet ready, so I'm going to blend the tomatoes, butternut squash, and pepper first. So later, then I blend the onions. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing here. So yeah, these are the things I'm going to blend. So with the juice around it, you don't need water to blend it, yeah. So yeah, it's ready and I'm going to pour it in my soup. Guys, the blender did a good job. Everything was well blended, very smooth and then no chaff. So no need to even strain it. But then if you didn't use a blender and you use that local grinding, um, is it anything web? Oh yeah, if you use that one, then maybe you can strain it. Okay, so we are making light soup. So you can use as much water as you want, like... In fact, as you saw me do, I just raised my blender and I added it to it. So it is time to add my fish. All this while I've not added my fish because fish doesn't take a longer time to cook. So I just added it and my onions are well cooked now. So I'm going to blend it and then add it to the soup. Then basically it's like everything. It's in the soup now and we are getting somewhere. We are almost done with the soup. <laughs> so like I said, everything is in now. 
since my fish is in it i do not want to be staring anyhow because i don't want any breakages <laughs> so now i'm going to taste for salt and if the salt isn't enough i'm going to add a little bit of salt and then cover it and i won't stare anymore so i just added a teaspoon of salt to my at the beginning my meat and everything was well seasoned so i don't need too much salt at this point yeah now i taste it again and i can see that everything is perfect So as you can see, it's boiling beautifully, guys. When you see foams on your soup like this, it means it is not ready, okay? So you have to lower the heat and keep it on fire until you start seeing oil on the surface. Even at this point, it's still not ready because there are still some foamy things be on the soup. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm still going to leave it on fire to boil a bit more but not too hard you have to lower the heat like i said yeah very simple so while i wait for my soup to be ready let me clean the side okay so that my pot will be looking beautiful yes basically that's it we've come to the end of this video huh, i can't wait to eat this okay yeah you can pair this with rice with food anything thanks so much for watching see you in my next video bye but don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also share this video to others yeah and also subscribe oh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed thank you so much see you in my next video bye